The retro camera is Creator 3-in-1's budget version of the LEGO Ideas Polaroid set, admittedly very different models, but with the overall theme being the same and the timing of their releases can't help but make one person draw comparisons, right? But before that, the model, and I won't dive too deep into the alternate because, let's be real here, no one will really buy this one because they really want that TV or camcorder models, right? It's all about the retro camera. not particularly inspired in any specific model if you go by the results of a quick Google search for the term. The studs showing on the black portion of the camera's body kinda work in its favor, I think, reminding me of the leathery texture you'd find in such objects, and the shaping in the same black portion of the camera done with those double G slopes on the sides is on point. Sadly, it doesn't match the perfect roundness of the grey section above, but it doesn't bother me all that much, to be honest. The lens was made with a few smart LEGO piece choices and the way it's connected makes it so that you can turn your lens to focus the shot, as you would in the real camera. At the top lies most of the details and functions, so to speak, of the camera. There's this dial here, maybe for the aperture or shutter speed, the shutter button for taking pictures, the film advance lever and the rewind crank on the other side. Not too sure what this button is, nor this red one at the back, but there's even the odd shoe connection here where you'd mount a flash attachment. The viewfinder is made of transparent elements so you can actually see through it, which is cool, but the elephant in the room is obviously this cloth strap here that I've been trying to avoid talking about. It's made of a similar material to that of the capes from LEGO minifigures, but feels slightly stronger and surprisingly enough handles the weight of the camera quite well. Love the 2 by two studs decorations here and these, like the Disney camera film reel, is an element of the model I like so much that I will probably keep stored away on its own out of the fear of damaging it. This is not the end of the model though as the back of the camera can be opened to reveal one of two film rolls included. You can take it out like this and it's kinda nice to see some of the pictures the camera supposedly took. If you look closer though you'll notice that all three are references to other Creator 3-in-1 products, the first being the retro roller skate I reviewed a few weeks ago as well, one of the dogs from the adorable dog set, and lastly a photo of the vintage motorcycle. But as I stated, this is one of two film roles included, the other being an exactly similar build except for the photos that this time around feature the beach camper van, the giraffe from the wild safari animal set, and the butterflies from the flowers in watering can set, so really cool cross promotion here. These photos are all stickers placed on 2x2 two two wall elements in transparent so that light can shine through, like you'd see in real film rolls. I really can't complain about it, it's a fun LEGO model that looks great on display but also doubles up as a nice playset due to having a couple play features as opposed to the retro roller skate or the ukulele that in my opinion are pure display models and not not toys, which I don't exactly agree with. And then we can't really help to compare this to the LEGO Ideas Polaroid, right? They look cool together, not gonna lie, and the one-step camera one-ups the retro camera with that very clever function for taking pictures, but the biggest of issues between the two is how overpriced the LEGO Ideas model is. Granted, there's IP partners at stake that need their royalties, which naturally drives the price up, but besides that, we can't really blame the new elements it has to justify its outrageous pricing as the Creator 3-in-1 retro camera as an exclusive new element of its own. It's more than fairly priced at $20 for 260 pieces, whereas the Polaroid camera for double the piece count has a price point four times higher. That's $80 versus the $20 of the Creator model. If you really want a LEGO camera, there's no doubt in my mind which one you should pick, and given how it's on back order online, and how this box in particular was the last copy the LEGO shop I bought it from had proves my point. Get yours using the link below to support the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.